want to try to set context for our other two speakers before we kind of get into the roundtable because I think that's where the action is. Um, every time we as a firm get into a discussion about digital and what we're doing as a firm in digital to help serve our clients or to help um, be a little more proactive in looking at the media environment, I try to boil it down to very simple points because if we start looking at statistics, which I am going to bore you with this morning, um, your head wants to explode and suddenly you have kind of issues trying to prioritize what you're doing and when you're doing it and what's impactful and how we're going to measure it and all that kind of stuff. In very simple terms, I think we're talking about three things. I think we're still talking about sourced, trusted, we're still talking about trusted sources of information. So it starts with you and people that you work with to engage the conversation on your behalf a lot of times because you're in a heavily regulated industry. So it starts with the source, then it goes to the channel. So pretty simple, which channels are we using to engage in that conversation? And the third thing it gets down to, which is the tricky one for you, but where I think most of the discussion should be having is the content. What's the content that goes into it? So I don't think there's all this um, smoke and mirrors around digital, although I'm going to give you some smoke and mirrors this morning. And you already received our propaganda here from Joanna, which is great. Um, but I try to think of this in very, very simple terms, because I think if we don't look at it in simple terms, and we don't look at digital against the broader landscape of what we're doing now, and start to think about percentages of our efforts that go into print, to broadcast, and to digital, we probably miss the point a little bit. So sources, channels, and content, and the, diff the most difficult of those three, content. 